In April of 2013, a one-day survey of Virginia school bus drivers found that nearly 1,900 vehicles illegally pass school buses with extended stop arms. Virginia law states that if a driver fails to come to a complete stop when approaching a school bus that has stopped on any highway, private road, or school driveway for the purpose of taking on or discharging children, will be cited with reckless driving. Motorists must stop for the school buses on either side of the street, and they must remain stopped until all the students clear the road. The school bus stop arm is retracted, and the red lights are turned off, and the bus drives away. To help fight the growing problem of school bus stop arm running, the Virginia legislature authorized school districts to deploy cameras on the side of school buses. We talked a lot about this last year when we started exploring um, the program and if it would be a benefit to us. And so we actually did a study over a period uh, of several days and we were shocked. Over a three day period, 10 buses logged 60 cars passing their school buses while loading or unloading students. This is a huge problem. Student safety is first and foremost um, at the forefront of everything that we do. I think as a community, we're very, very aware that it's a serious issue. Falls Church City Public Schools has partnered with American Traffic Solutions to bring its exclusive crossing guard school bus stop arm solution to its school buses. Once the school bus stops and the stop arm is deployed, crossing guard is activated. If the camera senses that a violation has occurred, it records the event and securely transmits it for processing. After an initial review, local law enforcement verifies that a violation occurred and then issues a citation. Fines for photo and four school bus stop arm violations are non-criminal traffic infractions. No points are awarded and the violations are not reported to the vehicle owner's insurance company. In Virginia, the penalty for a stop arm violation will warrant the vehicle's owner a civil penalty of $250. We are very judicious in our reviews of these uh, of the violations. They are scrutinized and uh, very judiciously reviewed by the officers who, who are tasked with that. Child safety is of paramount concern to the City of Falls Church from the parents, number one, uh, the children themselves, the superintendent of schools, every city government worker, and especially the police, and uh, everyone that serves the children. And uh, that's a community, our community at large. I think having cameras on the buses absolutely will improve safety for our children and for our community as a whole. And I think our community is so supportive and they're excited that, that we're going to do this because they know it's going to have an impact and keep our kids safer. With ATS and the Falls Church City Public Schools and Police Department working together, we can further ensure the safety of our children.